Really, he needs to play his best zero. handball here today. Here we are, zero to zero. This is the World Handball Championship men's finals, and a big setup for Paul Brady goes for that laser shot, and Luis Moreno gets it back to point. the front wall, but it does not make it. There's a point for Paul Brady. Luis was... Point. Luis was up 13 to two, and now Paul Brady has scored five straight points. You want to know what the meaning of the word impossible is? I'll tell you what, Dave, if there's anybody that can come back from that kind of devastating first game loss and a fist pump on top of it, it is Luis Moreno. Luis Moreno will not relent here, Dave. That's her, by the way, when you're touching my back here in the booth. That's actually how we communicate here. The replay showed that the ball was good. Huge setup for Paul Brady. Goes to the corner and floors Boy. it in the ground. Oh, no. Break here on the show court. Towel timeout. Score here is 13 to 8. This is the largest lead that anyone 13, has had in this whole eight. match. Well, that Paul Brady has had. That anyone, in this Luis Moreno, oh, excuse me, sorry, he had a bigger lead than that, that, that I meant Paul Brady has had in this match. Why? I'm sorry, and Paul Brady to me is anyone, mm. he's everyone. Brady at the end of game number one, that fist pump. And look at this wave, Dave. Point serves 10. Let's watch this and listen to the crowd if he scores this next point. Point and My goodness. World champion, he does as well. My goodness, he does it again. Four straight for Paul Brady. Let's watch him. As he kicks the ball on the front wall, everyone in the complex is standing. Look at this crowd, this energy as Paul Brady wins it again. 2003, 2006, 2009, and 2012. Just listen to this crowd, Dave. Um, just a relief, uh, uh, like I say, just, just relief and obviously over the moon. Uh, it's a dream come true, you know, and um, I just feel, feel great, you know. And, I really uh, just too emotional even to let it sink in just yet, you know. As sporting comebacks go, uh, how you came back from 10 points down in game one, that'll rank up there with the best of them. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, yeah, it probably did. I just kept thinking, catch him if I can catch him, you know. I got such a bad start and uh, he was playing so good, I, I couldn't do anything, you know. His serves, I couldn't get his serves back, they were just too fast. And he's putting a lot of spin on the ball, he was jumping away from me and I just couldn't get relaxed. But thankfully, um, I just kept, you know, plugging away and kept trying to catch him and I knew if I caught him I'd have a good chance and when I caught him at 19 I kind of the crowd just pushed me over the line. You've won, won many world titles before but what's it like to win at home in front of your home crowd in front of so many? Uh, it's just a dream come true you know it's a dream come true um, you know there's so many people uh, that never get me to see me play you know because I'm always playing abroad and um, you know the worlds were in Edmonton and Portland the last uh, Edmonton in 2006 Port Portland in 2009 so to have you know the home support it really pushed me over the line today so i just got had delighted to get get through you know Champion, 
arguably the best hamler, I'd say definitely the best hamler ever to play the game, you know, 40 by 20. That's my record of it. Oh man, it's intense, it's great. <laughs> it's one of the best games I've ever seen. Impressed me more tonight than ever I've seen him before. So he can come back. Outstanding performance, brilliant shots all the way around. Brady just super tough, as usual. <laughs>